So yeah, so back to where we're going. So now yeah. the music is hitting the West Coast. You made a smart decision. You know what? I'm moving to the West Coast. First of all, was that a smart decision, do you think, oh, moving God, to the was- West Coast? Or do you think it was better to be back in the hub where it came from for your Honestly, music? like, it was the best It was the best decision that I ever made, like, for my life. Because at that time, in 2012, like, I was, Juan Gotti was the California one. California again. Love. <laughs> Juan Gotti, again, was the one that brought me over here and kept bringing me over here. He was the one that pushed my single with him to Pocos Pero Locos. Like, see, you need to come out here and do music. Yeah. Like, this is where you belong. And he took me out here so many times. We did that's when I linked up with like Frost. I did some stuff for Frost. Like I was doing stuff yeah. with artists out so here. So speaking of that, yeah. who have you done records with in like video wise or really got in the studio with in Cali artists when you moved out here? And and mm-hmm. um did they know that you were part of that movement and, and like name some of the artists that you've done it with? When I moved out here, I yeah. would say the first person I linked with was Chino Grande. Okay. And we ended up doing the song Shine on Me. Got you. And that one just kinda like took off. And um, I'd also work with Miss Crazy. Miss um, Crazy, what we, song is that with Miss Crazy? Uh, it's called a song called Sedated. Okay. Uh, what else artists is out there? Uh, let's see, King Little G. King Little G. What song you did with him? Uh, well, we did a few songs, but the main one, which is like one of my most famous songs now, is "Make You Mine." Make You Mine. Okay. A love song because we both don't do really do love songs. We linked up for that one. Okay. Um, gosh, who else? I don't want to forget people. Criminal that you oh, played. I'm sorry. I, I, See, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to forget people. Yeah. Criminal, yes. Yeah. I've done several songs with Criminal. We that's did a, a, one of your biggest YouTube ones you have yeah. out there, right? Was you the, can find what, me. You can find me. Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. And one. I think that's on the High Power Channel, or is it? Or yeah, uh, I, or is it? Or maybe not? I can't remember. I, yeah, can't okay, re- I think yeah. so. I okay, think so. so yeah. But yeah, that one. That one's constantly. Yeah, people love that song because I know it was on the West Side Oldies project that he bring out. I think it was, and it probably was, but I'm not sure. It and, it, and it had just came out. I think. uh I ended up doing a show with you and Oxnard or something right after that song came out. Okay. Ended up performing a song and everything. So I started getting some shows. I started getting a lot more shows on the West Coast after all that stuff. And that's what I really wanted to do was expand my fan base and let people know that I had my own music and that I just wasn't someone's backup singer. Yep. Because... That's what I was when I came out here. Nobody yeah. knew who the fuck yeah. I was. Yeah. They didn't say, oh, that's the girl you were, on this piano shit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak on your behalf from yeah. what I know because I, I know you came out here and we you know, we didn't really link up in the studio, but I, I just seen you grinding and like mm-hmm. working with all these artists and I'm like, that's how you do it. Come into mm-hmm. the city and really make getting the best artists from the city, first of all, because yeah. sometimes you can't even connect with the best artists. That's true. So you might just be starting from the, but you did it with everyone's camp who was already pretty big. Through Twitter, yeah. believe it or not. And you That's started. That's how I met you. Yeah, yeah. I think it was Twitter. Yeah, so I mean, it just you just started networking with everybody and start yeah. building a name. And then now you have hits with a lot of people with, you know, songs that you sang the hook from, um, you know, like, you said uh, Criminal, G, um, different people out, out there, Chino yeah. Grande song. So there's a lot of hits. And then you start getting your name established in the West and still people in Houston remember who you were also. Oh, yeah. It made them want me more. Yeah. Okay, it's weird. Yeah. It's it's so backwards, mm. like the psychological thing. Yeah. And I always tell people this, and this is my advice. Leave your city. Yeah. Like, oh, nobody oh. shows me love in my city. Leave. Exactly. Then they're going to love you. Then they're going to want you. That's just the way it is. Hey, there's one thing, like, this is off the topic, but just for the youngsters out there, like, you know, people in L.A. don't really leave L.A. And what I've noticed, the only artist that, well, obviously I do it, but the only other artist that did it was Nipsey. He used Mm. to go to New York. He used to, like, shoot videos in New York. For all these new artists, you got to leave the city. You got to explore and go to different things. And and we were talking about it, too. That's one that, of my favorite artists too, Nipsey Hussle. Like so, this new generation so confused because some are, people in Cali are acting Texas, and people in Texas are acting Cali. We've so, seen it since we're all <laughs> like over the place. The hardest essays are in saying are from Texas are using those words, and over here we're using words that people in Texas yeah, use. Yeah, from those Edgar haircuts to the you I know, know the Edgars, and, and that's coming from Texas and this and that. And now Cali's acting like it's all. We're in a big mumble jumble time mm-hmm. where everybody forgot where they're from and they're just clicking onto the hot things of each area. COVID. Blame it on COVID. <laughs> COVID got everybody. But crazy. hey, it is what it is. So um, 